गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल और इफ यू न्यू ईयर हेलो हाय माय नेम इज ज्योत्सना एंड आई मेक बुक रिलेटेड वीडियोस ऑन दिस चैनल बेसिकली एंड टुडेस वीडियो इज वेरी क्लोज टू माय हार्ट इट्स प्रीटी स्पेशल बिकॉज वी हैव नाउ कंप्लीटेड अबाउट सेवन मंथ्स नॉट अबाउट लाइक वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड सेवन मंथ्स ऑफ टू एंड एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ टू आई हैड डिसाइडेड टू मेक अ बुक जर्नल दिस ईयर एंड also try and make it pretty as much as possible and i wanted to give you guys a tour of how i use my book journal currently and for me it's very exciting for me it's very i would say um i I'm, i'm really excited to show you this okay everything that i do in here all the things that i've done so far it's going to be an amazing flip through so yeah let's get started so here we go right into business and this is my accomplished planner from neora which i use as my book journal currently so if you want to see uh, this book plain with its uh, pages with its you know sections then i'm linking the book journal tour video down in the description box so that you can check it out but this is the video where i'm going to show you what i have done with this journal in the past 7 months right so right off the bat we have a pen loop here and the pen that i'm keeping currently for this week is a stedler fine liner i think this is a 0.3 fine liner right and it's in a pink shade because that's the theme of the week and i think you'll you'll understand it as i you know move forward in this particular video so basically you know let's start with the three sections right so if you have seen the previous video in the past then you know that there are three sections in here the first section being the monthly section uh, the second section being the you know daily section and the last section being the expenses section so it's traditionally supposed to be used as a planner and not as a book journal but yeah so let's start with the monthly section which is the first section in this particular book and to be honest so this is january 2022 right and i did not have like great ideas on how to use it so um i basically put in my to do list here and for each block i put in which books or what format of books to read on that particular day right and that was how i was using this but then by the time february came in i got into a reading slump and specifically speaking going back and actually filling this out is too tedious and cumbersome and i did not want to do anything tedious or cumbersome for my book journal and that's why i did not fill it but as such you know i have left it blank i do not have ideas on what i want to use this section for next year if i have the same book journal but uh, yeah as you can see i did use this till you know march and then after march i just left it like in the air i i didn't want to do anything much so here we come to the first week of january and this is where all the fun starts so this is the second section which is the daily section so as you can see in my goals i write my currently reading book so this was what i was reading in um jan and also like once i finish a book then i put that in the accomplished list and then i just write that down and i also write what i'm grateful for and also these are all handmade stickers that i had made because i was excited for this journal then what i started doing was with the reading goals with you know an ode to the week so this is all going to be a common feature throughout the journal where i just talk about you know the ode to the week and i have these theme stickers because this was master and margarita and there is an evil cat in there and this is the ivory throne and this is the coast basically so <laughs> i mean the coast for the shining <laughs> okay um and yeah i mean this is how it looks and it it's the same concept here a lot of things that have been filled in so as and when you you know you see at the start of the journal there would be a lot of content matter so let me just skip to february now because february is again somewhere i had like I, you know i kept filling it in like um you know these are all the gifts that i received um i also like started you know making a 
journal entry or a calculated reading plan for my week so that I know where am I with my reading life and I just find this entire process very very therapeutic it's amazing for me I also uh, use this reading tracker where I check whether I've read you know all, all days a week and yeah if I post something on YouTube then I have this sticker that comes up and February you know so this is what I told you it's, it's called a journal entry now like this is what I name it every week I have a journal entry um, where I talk about the books and how my reading life is going and you know one side of it always as currently reading whatever I read this week and what I want to read uh, in the future and let me tell you making a book journal like this has been a blessing okay it's been amazing it's been beautiful and yeah like you can see right this is actually a very cute page cute stickers as well that I actually bought and at the end of every month so this is the end of February at the end of every month I write down the books that I've read so this theme keeps changing uh, I mean if I'm in the mood then it's beautiful if I'm not in the mood then it's not beautiful at all and in order to fill empty spaces I always come back and put in quotes in order to understand you know um what you basically understand your point like to just keep it good and also i had written some goals here to keep my mental health um you know intact take your life slow take your reading slow so this this is just like a good reminder because i you know went into a reading slump in february and i lost one of my family members as well and you know it was a it was not a good month although it was my birthday month okay so um yeah i mean you know more stuff like as you can see my pens also keep changing so this is like a 0.7 pen from muji and you can use any pen of course i love using gel pens and then you know there's this you know every week so let me just like try to move a bit forward and show you some thing that might be less filled up okay so this happens when i use glue and i mean this happens a lot so what i would i just put cello tape in order to cover it up um okay so let me show you okay so this is like one of my favorite spreads because i could fill so much like there's a lot of subject matter here and there's also the sticker which says reading uh and you know i try to customize it as much as possible um it's just like tidy entries on a daily basis and here are some things i use like this is just a tag um that from from a um i think top that i bought and i just stuck it here and i put a label and i made all of these designs this thing is something that i painted because i really wanted to you know uh, match this particular theme so it's like a mishmash of a lot of things that i do in general and by the way this one i think was a cut out from a cardboard you know so when you buy shirts or when you buy any type of clothing item that may be premium um you actually get like a cardboard stuff inside the cloth and, and that i actually cut it out from there and then i made this okay so now this is something very interesting because the quarter finals of the book due price and announced and these were the books that i had to read and uh, so i had so this is what i did right because um okay so this page uh, I filled this on later on, as you can see, I filled this on 29th of, oh wait, you can't see that. Uh, yeah, you, I filled this on 29th of May. So this page was blank for a very long time and we are this March. So what happens is that there are times when I do not have anything to add and I keep those pages blank and I put a sticky note, something like this, you know, somewhere. And then I come back and then I fill it, um, if, if that makes sense okay so over here i was just you know ranking my booktube price um reads and you know i was like contemplating two of these and i decided to go with this and not with this one by the way if you do want to see my booktube price reviews uh, for the quarterfinals then it's down in the description box below please go ahead and check it out so this is like the books i read in that particular month then this is interesting because when i get a note section i just make like a list of the books that i really want to read and one more thing that i started doing here was pages read i started putting it in here itself um and then yeah then eventually moved to the habit tracker again um i want to show you like a place where i do not have um yeah so this is maybe more of an empty space like if you compare this 
with this then of course this is more legible this is more beautiful but there are days when i really don't feel like you know journaling and then i come back and i journal something i scribble something and i just move on with it and and that's totally fine because um yeah i mean it, it's your reading life at the end of the day so this is something that i want to show you right so whenever i get like blank pages i don't fret over blank pages i always come back and this was my uh, you know my collection of thoughts when i read the book to your prize so generally when you read like you know a prize uh, where you're not allowed to post reviews on good reads it kind of creates somewhat of a block because you need to remember what how much do you like the book and that's why i started noting down all my short reviews here this is not the long version of course there's a very short version like you can see it's like a one or two line or thing with the rating and this was a good reference for me to uh, you know sit on 29th may and put in my you know um, rankings basically and that's why this this book has been a blessing because it really keeps my reading life at one place and it gives me a lot of therapy sorry therapeutic therapeutic sorry <laughs> therapeutic um inputs so yeah you know i literally used a van hues in tag don't don't judge me because you know i love journaling i love scrap journaling and i just take things out here basically use what you have and don't invest much in like stuff and all of these stickers that you're seeing these are also kind of second hand because i got them off someone who was selling it on instagram and uh, yeah that's that and so this this is a video plan that i have made so you know uh, surprise surprise uh, i do tend to plan my videos where i talk about like a list of books or book recommendations and that's why i actually wrote down the questions that i want to add and i think one question you know i didn't want to add was this one so i just can't crossed it out but the other question so this is like the reference for me when i'm making videos as well and yeah you you get my point it's it's very interesting for sure and yeah this is april week 5 and this looks neat as well um again there's a habit tracker here so uh, let me come to some recent one so let me try june because june is an interesting time okay so this is may this is the end of may this is what i read in may june so you see when i say blank spaces i do leave blank spaces purposely and this does not have any date it just comes with the book and i did not know what to fill in there so i just just left it like that and that's totally okay because i know one day i'll come back and i'll find space in the book in order to note something else there and of course tag it with you know a, a sticky note like this so um yeah i mean looks a bit shabby looks a bit messy but i i really like the spread because of the stickers and again like this is the media book freak out tag which was my last video that i you know actually um have here so let me take you so we even june so let me take you to something in july because i really want to show you a spread okay so here it is so there are days that i do not read much or i do not have much to write in this book because i'm completely burnt out and that is often so first thing if you see i've stopped making the habit tracker and i think i stopped this in june itself i will restart it if i feel like but i do not want to track my reading in this book anymore because i really don't have time to read so whatever i read is kind of a huge thing so example i read 20 of pages of call me by your name and and i just said i just want to speed read it like that's it that's my thought for the day right then i also like wrote what it started with you know footprints uh, on zero line and stuff like that you you get my point i mean i only enter you know make entries when i feel like it and i just use this as a rough book also at times and maybe this should be a good idea yeah this is a quick spread it's it's a very minimal spread and this is the last week of june but i was hardly reading anything and um this is when we cease to understand the world that's the book right so i didn't want to write the whole thing so yeah i just want to write ww so you know i try to make my spreads <laughs> minimal and for example i didn't read anything um as such yeah so 30th was the last day in june and you know i just like threw something here because i was really bored looking at the blank space so i just came back into things so my point is it's not every day that you'll see my spread um you know like this like this is not possible every week there are weeks when we do this as well or this as well basically 
and it's fun if you ask me it is fun and also um so this is my current project that's going on if you've seen my instagram i am currently reading for the freedom project and i've already like crossed out some books that i do not think i'll be able to finish so i have finished both in nazi germany at this point of time and um i'm currently reading in the language of remembering so this is this is going to be last book in the list for me so i've finished one two three four five so five books i'd aim to read seven books and five books so, you know a mini update between all of this and so let let me take you to the you know last week right because see this is as plain as it can get um it it was a very difficult week last week and i've been trying to do my best but this what this is what i've been able to do and that's totally fine because i'll come back and fill these blank spaces for sure and yeah this is what i do uh, when it comes to a journal entry i just said like i'm extremely tired i mean i have been extremely tired this past week with a lot of work and escalations due to which i have not been able to read which is which is 100% true and these are my reading plans and my current reading plans and things like that so you know this book kind of gives you a kind of uh, insight into what you want what you need how it is um and yeah it's it's i think a flip through of everything so let me get to the last week of july because we've just started august and this is what like the first week of august currently looks like and i'm filming this video on the 6th and hopefully i'll be posting it soon enough but um yeah like you know just identifying you know where i was what my mental health was in july and like it was a slow reading month and the books that i finished in july are here as well and also this very fun tape i actually you know this was like my first collection of washi tape that i bought and uh, yeah I, i i thought i should use it because it's in storage um it it this turned out to be a very fun spread to be honest because i really wanted that kind of cartoonish vibe to it um and yeah this is what i'm doing currently so if you see i'm using this ink in order to write down and there are no stickers here there are just these stickers of monday tuesday wednesday like the days of the week and since this is um a pink shade i'm using a pink shade in order to write what i did on that particular day so um these are my book the books i'm currently reading and these are the books that i finished in this week so um you know again no habit tracker cuz i really don't need one at this point of time and yeah that's the plan so um one more thing i want to show you is that i'm judging the book to your price finals and i'm judging the non fiction section okay so um i've already written down the names of the books i have already made a page for my thoughts and of course currently reading and the main aim is that i know where can i get these books and then where can i you know actually read them because that's a very huge thing uh, if you do not you know get the books then you do not i mean then then you're not able to judge so you have to let you know the organizer know about the same so that being said now this is the third section and the third section is like a very miscellaneous section and that is um you know wait let me try to cover this up and then show you so these are like oops the camera sh- but it's okay so basically these are video ideas and i don't want you to see them but I, i i think i can show you this that is the books that i want to read in 2022 there is also one more somewhere here like where i try to yeah so basically this was like a list that i had made for jan because i had a lot of books coming in then you know i had a lot like had book sellers names written here and their um the amount that i owe them so that that was the entire thing but then i stopped using it because i stopped buying books and even if i buy books i buy like very limited books uh these days um yeah i mean i prefer not to buy books now and read what i have at this point of time so yeah that's it that's my flip through that's everything that i've filled in my journal so far and also um if you want to start a journal or are inspired by this video let me know so yeah that's it for the video and of course like mentioned if you want help with the setup let me know and i can guide you on how to do it and i hope you like this video please do the usual if you liked it and the usual being liking and subscribing encourages me a lot yep thank you so much for watching bye